here's how to set up CallRail with Google Analytics 4 in the fastest way possible. If you've reviewed the instructions that CallRail has put out regarding their Google Analytics 4 integration, there's a series of steps that you need to go through in order to be able to see your data in Google Analytics 4 and be able to access it in the different reports. Part of that involves creating a number of custom dimensions, which they explain here in this section, as well as a few custom metrics. And then finally, setting up some conversion events, which the way they describe it, you have to wait for these events to come through before you can mark them as conversions. Well, we don't like waiting and we don't like pointing and clicking a lot. So here at Inflow, we've developed a new little helpful tool to help you do this. The way this works is first you make a copy from the link that you'll see in the blog post or whatever you've just read about this tool. And you might get prompted to give it permissions and different things like that. There's a few steps that you need to go through. You need to open up this app script and add the Google Analytics admin API service. It's just a few little steps. It's not too scary. So you go ahead and get through those few steps. Then you come to this tab, which is the configuration tab. And again, you'll have some instructions here that you can follow. The main thing is to go into the Google Analytics account that you're looking to set this up within and grab the account ID. It's not the same as the measurement ID. The easiest spot to grab it is just from the URL after the P. You can also get it in the admin section. Go ahead and paste that in there. And then each piece is going to be run independently, one at a time. So the first thing we want to do is create our custom dimension. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, this is going to require another little authorization, which I'm going to give it. And I believe it needs to be run again. Let's just double check to see if it ran on that iteration. I believe we're going to have to select it again. Yes, we are. And so let's go ahead and do it this time. And it's going to run our script. And as soon as it is done, it'll say finished. And let's go see if those custom definitions were created. And let's see here. There they are. There's all your custom dimensions. So let's go ahead and repeat that with custom metrics. And that's done. So let's go ahead and click on custom metrics. We might need to refresh. And there's our custom metrics. And then finally, let's go over to our conversion events. There are some conversion events in here, but it's not the call rail conversion events. So we're gonna go ahead and click create conversion events and it's gonna run our script again and be done. So let's make sure that those got in okay. So we have, for example, phone call, chat, form, SMS was the other one. So all those are in here now and they're pretty much ready to go. So that's how you can configure CallRail in a Jiffy for GA4. Thanks, y'all.